I believe that it's time for a round of the notepad game. Got my notepad. All right. I'm gonna write down whatever clues we can glean from this nightmare. Oh my God, this recording setup is not conducive to writing surfaces. All right, so our first clue is clouds. We have sunny sky, tangerines, clover, violets, dandelions, sleep. Unavoidable sleeping time. Everything else is like evocative and colorful and images and stuff. And then unavoidable sleeping time is like the most bizarre, like it's almost funny. Liquid flowing from a slashed wrist, so blood. Now we'll look at you. I would if I were to say I would say we have white, orange, black, and purple. That's the colors we have on here, and there's the four indents the actual items go into. That's the map button. And then for the plates, we have red. And we don't have to even guess with these ones, because the exact intended color is actually said in the description. Green. Blue. Yellow. Specifically, yellow cat. Blue. Turtle. Green hatter. And red queen. There we go. All right, now we play the matching game and I put down my controller and you stare at the static screen for a bit while I look at this clues. All right, let's start with obvious things. Uh, we have a very clear correlation. I'm just going to start checking off. I'm going to put a check mark by each of the clues to see if I can, if I can do a one-to-one -one match. Because I'm noticing there's eight clues and then there's eight slots or eight colored... Uh, there's eight key, eight clues, four colored slots, and four tiles. So you would you could surmise from there that there might be a one-to-one -one correlation between the clues and the slots and tiles. So first of all, obvious one, purple has to be surely violet. Pretty straightforward there. The red queen is probably blood, especially with knowing with the whole how the red queen goes with the off with your heads and whatnots. Green hatter is probably the clover, due to the color green. I would even say that the hatter might have even had a direct relationship with a clover. But I haven't got done any Alice in Wonderland anything for a long time, so I don't really remember. But clover seems like something I would correlate with that. Clouds are usually white. So there goes the color white. Tangerine is orange. Those are matching up. Next up we have, uh, we have sunny sky dandelions and sleep and our remaining colors are black blue and yellow so sunny sky must be blue dandelions are yellow and I guess unavoidable sleeping time would be black I suppose it's a weird way of going about that but sure all right now let's look back at the actual screen and does the order make any particular sense so the ones that are already on the board are white, orange, purple, and black. We have clouds, sky, tangerines, clover, violets, dandelions, sleep, blood. The first one is clouds, the third one is tangerines, the fifth one is violets, the seventh one is sleep. So every other one on this... Okay, so the four that we see here are every other clue. That pretty much gives it away then. 
So then if we start with clouds, which is the north position, the third one is tangerines, which is the east position. So northeast is likely the second clue then, which is blue. That's not the inventory item. Some game I played must have had blue uh, triangle be the inventory opening screen. All right, so we're gonna put blue here. Then goes tangerine, then clover, then violets. So the bottom right must be green. So this will be green. After that goes violets, then dandelions, then sleep. Their sleep is black, so dandelions must be yellow. I'm pre-planning the next step each time because I don't want to have to re-inspect it. Then it. So then if this is dandelions, next goes sleep, and then blood, which is red, the queen. So that makes sense too, and that's the last thing left over. All right. This should work, or I'm... Oh, that's a good sound. I was going to be in some trouble if that didn't work, because that would be a dead end. Let's put those notes away. Clue solved. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's unlocked. There we go. Hi there. No? Oh, there's a door. Thank goodness. It's a good place to find a door. Uh-oh. I hear bad time noises. Is that a lighter over there? Hey, you come over here. Woohoo! Oh god, she runs for it. Okay. Do -do -do -do. What's that on the table? That's a belt. That is not important. Ow! Oh, nothing here matters. I don't think. Nothing unusual here. Were you nightshade? Okay. Open up this map for a second. So that was the ICU, which I apparent that was the thing that they said I was powering on with the generator. Suddenly, I get the feeling the ICU doesn't matter so much because uh, nothing was in there. Uh, the operating rooms to my left. I ran past that when I was trying not to be murdered. You can understand why, I'm sure. Oh my God! <laughs> Watching, trying to return as this guy is fascinating sometimes. Oh, we took some damage. Should I risk it, though? Nah, I've gotten more of these than the other kind. I'm, t I'm sometimes tempted to risk taking more damage so that I can intentionally use a first aid kit. The logic just being that it would heal... Let's call it two hit uh, slots of damage, I guess. Because green, yellow, uh, red, I believe that first aid takes you from red to, to green. So, like, sometimes I'm tempted to use that just to try to, uh, even off my stock a little bit, because I don't want to completely run out of these, and then only have first aid kits left, and then I always have to wait in order if I want to be efficient. But honestly, my stock of everything tends to go up faster than it goes down. Okay. You please die when I shoot you. I need to get more proactive about running away. These guys very much don't get stunned by gunshots the way most enemies do. Is there even anything here? If there's only one of them left, then I can evade it pretty easily by running around. It's two where I could have been trapped. There's nothing over there. Okay, so next door. Hi, how do you do? You'll never catch me! Ha ha! Ha 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 ha! Oh crap. There we go. Oops, saved ammo on the other one, but not on this one. But I evaded the attack. I'm getting better at this very specific form of combat. The basement storeroom key. Oh, it's the end of a belt again. The ends of belts are so shiny. So I see them and I'm like, ooh, what's that item? Is it a lighter? Is it some other thing I could use? I already have a lighter, so I don't really need a lighter that much, but I'm just curious what the item could be. Go, go, go. Uh-oh. 
Oh no, no 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 no. No 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 no. No 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 no. Uh door's locked, okay, goodbye. I'm gonna use this door now. There's a lot of enemies in that room. And none in this one. Was that three enemies? I lost track when I was just trying to run from shapes, basically. I think I saw three. Excessive at some point. Oh, the elevator says it's locked. Was it locked from the other side, though? Did all this just to get to the elevator? No, I got... No, I did all this to get to the key. I have a new key. That's the... It's still not how you open the inventory. Basement storeroom key. The hospital basement storeroom key found in the operating room. That's why I did all this. Otherwise... Yeah, it's a dead end. The storeroom. Locked. The, uh... Elevator might be openable from this side. It was closed before, right? Oh god. There we go. Nice and safe. Why don't we go down to the basement? I'm sure it's nice and friendly. Let's see. My save point is the director's office. Might as well pay it a visit. Easy to get to. Not overly concerned about having to run through that stuff again, but it would be nice to not have to resolve that puzzle if I suddenly and abruptly, tragically get myself killed. It's always possible. Hello. <laughs> kind of nailed it, didn't I? Save 28. Racking those things up. Ah! No! Here we are back in the basement. I believe there's enemies here. There was insects right off the bat during the day, so I think the nighttime one was even worse, wasn't it? Yep, there's an enemy right in front of me. Alright, uh... I need to go forward, then turn left, and then hit the next door on the wall. Huh? The wall over here. Oh god. Yes, 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 yes. I understand. Ooh, it's quiet in here. That's a good sign. What's that on the floor? Is that an enemy or is that a bottle? Those are bottles, I think. Ooh. Dock on shells. There's a bottle filled with some kind of drug. Better leave it. No, the freaking... There we go. <laughs> I don't even know what he was looking at. That seems like why I'm here. Let's maybe wait for a bit. That Hanna-Barbera looking freaking cupboard that's like practically glowing with how much it stands out. Handgun bullets. Thank you. Thank you kindly. I think that's all that's in here. Nothing inside. Oh. Are those scrape marks down there? Can you inspect those? The skid marks in the cabinet from being moved. Yep, I bet there's a door right here. Why, hello, Nightmare Door. How are you doing today? Are you full of bad? You're not full of bad. Where's the map think I am right now? Still the storeroom. All right, because the storeroom's bigger on the map than it is on the in the environment. I see those two things on the top of this door, and I think of the, uh... There's a, was it the, uh, the Japanese wall creatures? As we saw in Neo? Where, uh... They can just have a wall that's, like, alive. You have to appease it or something. Looks like a hallway under the grate. Can't move it, since the vines have grown around it. Oh. We have a new issue. That's also still not how I opened my inventory. 
Get it together. I have a lighter. Health drink. First aid kit. Hammer. I mean, that would eventually open it, probably. I'm gonna guess lighter. No, the fires go the fire goes out right away when I light the vines. Wow. They at least they didn't just deny me access. They actually accounted for me trying to do that. I guess the next question is does anything on the map look like it would have what I need to get rid of the vines? The morgue might be interesting. Sure. They might have, like, I don't know, embalming fluid? No, wait, no. You don't have- that's not- That doesn't go in the morgue. <laughs> Pretty sure they don't do funeral preparation in the first place. Uh, generator room... I've definitely searched the kitchen by now. And we got special stuff from the direct- the doctor's office. Speaking of which... Oops. We could try you. No, never mind. So you can't use the mystery fluid. The hammer. Oops, all you can do is equip it. Ka. Whoa. How's that for some range? I might use that for a bit, just to get a, a feel for it. Might be able to fend enemies off without having to actually use ammo on them or something. That would be a bit interesting. I don't really have much going on here, though. Yeah, because you can't use... Like, I have a knife. I, I have a... I have a knife. Like, what do you want from me? I have a knife. Surely I can cut vines with a knife. But the problem is that items in your inventory don't count as, a uh, As items you can just pick up and use... ...from empty bottles. Let's see... For me, the best clue, I feel, might be the... ...fact that the game name-checks the ICU. Ow. This was a mistake. This was a mistake. Oh my goodness. Okay, no. No, 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 no. Okay. Yeah, screw melee weapons. No interest. <laughs> I'm out. I'm out. So not interested. I'm so, it is so much better to run away than try to use a melee weapon in this game. Because if you're in melee range, they can just grab you. It reminds me of the, uh... Why I shied away from playing Dead Island back in the day, is that freaking Dead Island, it's like, Hey, it's a little bit melee combat, but also anytime anyone gets close to you, they grapple you, and then you have to do a quick time event to get out of the grapple, I'm like, screw you. That's not fun. My hands hurt. I got enough of this from Resident Evil 6, and I never want to go back. That was infuriating in that game, because the margin between their attack range and uh, your attack range was so minor that, like, every other time you were fighting stuff, it would just grab you. I'm like, no, let go, eh, I don't like this part. I'm gonna try the ICU again, because I was I was expecting to find something there, and I didn't. Oops. Because they name check it at the beginning. Am I there? Okay. Yeah, when you turn on the generator, this like, this will power on the elevator and the ICU, and I'm like, the ICU? Okay, that's actually really white. Disinfecting alcohol. I should have noticed that, shouldn't I? I should have noticed that. It's so bright. Excuse me. Excuse me. My bad. That should have immediately stood out to me how bright and how much it stood out compared to, like, Anything in the environment that is all rust colored. It's a very rust colored series. 
Well, it, alter it alternates being between being gray colored and being blood slash rust colored. Stop. All right, we'll give you a shot next. Isopropyl alcohol found at the ICU of the hospital. That's a good sign. Pouring disinfecting alcohol in the vines. The vines absorb the alcohol. Ooh, I can burn them now. At first, I was like, why would I want to... I was like, why would I just pour alcohol in vines? Like, what's the point? Like, sure, that'll kill it hours from now. That's way more realistic than using my knife. But if I can... If it's flammable, that makes sense. There we go. Oh, step back. Whoa. Well, there we go. An entirely reasonable series of steps. So we have no idea where we're going, right? We are grasping at the vaguest possible straws for finding our daughter. Yeah, this she's probably in this basement. Obviously. Oh god. Where even am I? I don't know. I legit don't know where I am right now. Oh, that door opens. Oh. Okay. I'm just gonna try random doors. Oh god, there's one here too. I did not... Camera was surprisingly accommodating over... Oh! There's the tape. For the VCR. The camera was surprisingly accommodating when it just came over to me all of a sudden. Yay, I got a videotape. That's probably important. Trying to lure her over... Oh, yeah, okay. They're, they have very variable speeds. Holy crap. Uh... No. I heard a breaking sound, but I don't... Ah, shit. The breaking sound, but... The fuck? I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Oh, it's so loud. It's so loud, but there's no indication of there being an actual enemy in the room. If, unless, some, unless some of them are gonna start to break the system? Ah, uh, no. You can tell I'm mashing every button when the, the you, you don't have a map button comes up. Let go, let go, let go, let go. And also my tight my light turns off. I might be able to sneak if I turn the light off. Can you stop? Oh. That one works. What's this? Looks like someone's been here. Alessa. Alessa? The examination room key. I gotta say, between the cult and now finding Alessa's room, I'm starting to think that people that say the movie has nothing to do with the game are, uh, being a little disingenuous. <laughs> Seem to have a lot to do with each other, actually. <laughs> Except Pyramid Head's not supposed to be in this game, ever, because he's... Spe the howls are supposed to be specific to the characters, I believe. A bed? What's it doing here? Who would... It's a hospital. Are you really that confused by there being a... Like, I know we're in the basement, but like... What if they have overflow beds? <laughs> I feel like... the bed A bed being in a hospital is not weird. And also... Looks like someone's been here. It's like... Every room looks like someone's been here. It's a hospital. <laughs> an important location for 
people to be in. Uh, back to being covered in enemies again, aren't I? Uh, there's nothing to do here. Running time. <laughs> I'll know when I find the wall because my character will collide with it hilariously. Uh, box jammed. Okay, great. Thanks for that. No, thank you. Leave me alone. There is not a... Ow. I got stuck. There's not a door on that side. That wasn't very nice. I'm doing okay. The weird tumor zombies are like not very effective at ne at knife wielding. They have a ne they have a negative damage mod. Okay, so now I've got the examination room key, which is on what floor? Oh. Oh, that's the room that had the sound in it. We got there through the medicine room, and then there was sounds happening in it. It was making sounds. So I say elevator to director's office. Probably the way to go. Just to save. And then we visit the sounds. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Nope. Aha! Thank goodness for the sprint button, right? Every time the music cuts out, I think an event's gonna happen, but it's usually just because it's loading the next floor. Oh god. Run better. Woohoo! That was a close one. That's this is the staircase, isn't it? Whoops. Excuse me. Can't get me. Aha. Save 29. Got to get an even 30. Did I get from the director's office? This map is so important. Uh, I need to round the corner, then take the first door. Oh god. I need to check the map constantly so I can have a battle plan for when I sprint past everything that's trying to murder me. Middle of the uh, crisis is a bad time to check. Boy, can't wait to find out. Else who's okay. Who are you? My name's Lisa Garland. What's yours? Harry Mason. Harry, tell me what's happening here. Where is everybody? I must have gotten knocked out. When I came to, everyone was gone. It's awful. So you don't know anything either. Great. I just don't get it. It's like this is all some kind of bad dream. Yeah, a living nightmare. Let me ask you, have you seen a little girl around here? Short, black hair, seven years old? A seven-year-old girl. What, she's your daughter? Yes. A seven-year-old girl. I can't say that I have. I was unconscious all this time. I'm sorry. <sighs> That's all right. Do you know anything about all that weird stuff in the basement? No. Why? Is there something down there? You don't know? 
Don't you work here? We're under strict orders never to enter the basement storeroom. So I really don't know. What did you say was down there? Well, it's... <clears throat> Damn! My head! What's wrong? Harry? Harry, let me help you. Harry? Was I dreaming? You were too late. It's you. Yes, Dahlia Gillespie. Tell me everything you know. What's going on? Darkness. The town is being devoured by darkness. Strength must overcome petty desire, childish sleep talk. I knew this day would come. What are you talking about? I don't understand a word of this. Believe the evidence of your eyes. The other church in this town, that is your destination. This is beyond my abilities. Only you can stop it now. Have you not seen the crest marked on the ground all over town? So that's what I saw in the schoolyard. What does it mean? It is the mark of Samael. Don't let it be completed. Hey, wait! Ah. Huh. Are we still in the hospital? We're still in the hospital. We're still in the examination room, but the nurse has disappeared. So it seems that she may be trapped in the hell version of this place and not this one, apparently, because she's just gone. Was that the first time we encountered a human character that was still able to respond and stuff like that while we were in the hell version? I don't really remember. The, um... It's actually, it's interesting thinking about, like, how this game may have inspired on some level some of the storytelling that you see in Dark Souls, specifically. Because in that game, you constantly encounter, like, you're constantly alone for the vast, 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 vast majority of the experience, but very occasionally and very briefly, on a regular, every now and then, you'll encounter NPCs who say cryptic, sinister-sounding things often in a weirdly slow pace with lots of pausing and so on. And then they'll disappear again, and you're like, I don't... They didn't really answer any questions, and now they're gone, and I only barely understand what's happening, and why can't anyone just clearly explain things that do know things, and why Why are the ones that... Well, how I always, always need to find the ones that don't know things, but also, like, the, the slow speaking pace, and just the way that people vanish completely is all sort of coming together, that cryptic oddly paced dialogue and everything. It's uh, it's making me think about it. Ooh, right, we have the videotape now, and I think the VHS was in this dimension? Or whatever we want, want to call these, I guess? I still got this guy. This... I bet I don't have to do a Rubik's Cube puzzle. I don't think I will. If It'll be very hard if I do, because this entire thing is... All the colors are gone. <laughs> 